Basically, I want to make this video to clear up any confusion about chemical engineering as a career option. And I think the best way to do that is by giving you some pros and cons about chemical engineering. I would go to these networking events and people would tell me what they thought of chemical engineering. You know, they thought it was a bad degree. They thought it was a very cyclic job market and they all had their own special takes on it. And I remember being an undergrad thinking, what the hell did I get myself into? So I graduated from chemical engineering from the University of British Columbia here in Canada last May. So I've been working for about nine months now. This is just my personal take on this topic. Don't take it as gospel. I could be totally wrong on every single point here. This is just my personal opinion. Obviously, this is gonna vary based on where you live. Um, based on what year you graduated and many other factors. But let's start off with a pro. So chemical engineers are involved with the design, manufacturing, troubleshooting, and the overall operation of large scale industrial processes. This ranges from many different types of industries. You know, you have your natural resources. Here in Canada, we have pulp and paper, oil and gas, mining. I know people who have worked in food and beverage at companies like PepsiCo. There's companies that do fertilizer production. And I even know someone who works at Arcteryx, which is a huge um, global clothing company, I think. There's plenty of other important industries out there, some of the most popular being pharmaceuticals and semiconductors, as well as wastewater and alternative energies. I think this is a huge, huge pro for chemical engineering. With there just being so many different industries out there for you to dive into, I think that having a chemical engineering degree basically gives you an entry ticket into any of these industries. Personally, I've been involved in the pulp and paper industry, the hydrogen industry, as well as food and beverage. Each of these own industries has their own, you know, pros and cons lists for you to do your own research on. But personally, how I learn more about these industries is I just follow interesting people on LinkedIn. I follow companies that interest me. There's also the column, which is a really great engineering resource uh, for chemical engineers specifically. It gives some of the most up-to-date research news on the industry and I highly suggest you check it out. With that being said, let's dive into our first con. Some industries in chemical engineering do have a pretty cyclic job market. So because some chemical engineering industries like oil and gas and mining are based on the global demand for those products, if there's a downturn in the global economy, right now I think oil and gas is getting hit pretty hard by the recent economic downturn. There have been a lot of layoffs in the oil and gas sector. However, with the advent of alternative energies, in particular hydrogen here in Canada, there are new industries coming up all the time based on what the needs of society are. What drives new processes and industries from starting is basically the economy. So here in Canada, we've got the carbon tax, which is a huge driver for some of these alternative energies that we're seeing right now. So the next pro that I see in chemical engineering is that the roles are pretty diverse. You can work in research and development, maybe at a lab or at your school. You can work as a process engineer, which is the majority of the jobs, or you can work in process development, which I'm currently kind of doing at my company. So although probably most chemical engineers go on to work in traditional chem E roles, I would say that because you have that engineering background, you do have an opportunity to work in other fields. Chemical engineers can work in maybe analyst roles, consulting roles that aren't specifically for chemical engineers, but just maybe someone with a strong analytical background. I think having a degree gives you a great foundational knowledge that companies really do love to see. I've seen plenty of roles at companies that are like not related to engineering at all, but if you have sort of a engineering background, then they'll totally consider you at least. What's also great about a chemical engineering degree is that compared to something like a chemistry degree, I feel like a bachelor's is enough to get you into most jobs. Whereas if you start off with, let's say a chemistry degree, you might not have as many opportunities. You might have to go get your master's or something else to go into some of these jobs. A con that I've seen personally, and I don't know if this is true for every single school out there, but I felt that in the chemical engineering degree, program compared to mechanical, electrical, computer engineering, I feel like we didn't have as many cool projects to showcase on our portfolios. Because it's a little bit harder to, you know, start your own chemical engineering project at home, whereas for maybe mechanical or electrical degrees, you know, you can just start working on your car or start working on a little circuit at home. It's a little bit harder for you to start some of your own projects until I did a couple of internships, I'd say it wasn't even that clear to me what chemical engineering was. And I know a ton of people who feel the same way. Chemical engineering school is very conceptual. They kind of just throw at you a lot of different topics on thermo, fluids, and it's not exactly clear how process engineers actually work based on having all of this knowledge. I did make a video on what chemical engineers actually do, which I'll link 
up here somewhere. I definitely suggest you take some internships while you're in school. When you go back to school after taking a four to 16 month internship, I think that everything just starts kind of clicking. You start to understand why you're learning a lot of the things that you're learning. And it's really hard to make those connections until you've had a couple of work experiences. I remember when I started working at a pulp and paper mill, like I was just so fascinated walking around, looking at all the different machinery that was running, all the different pipes and interconnections, and just looking at the you know, control system and looking at all the different graphs and trends that we had. I was just blown away by the scale of chemical engineering, which, you know, you talk about these hundred ton per day flows while you're in school, but until you kind of get out there in the field, you don't really have a reference point for what that means. The next pro of chemical engineering is that the job itself has a lot of responsibilities and things for you to learn from and grow from every single day. So along with traditional process engineering responsibilities like design, manufacturing, monitoring of processes, there are a lot of different aspects that you can get into and maybe specialize in as a chemical engineer. So reading off this list here, like you can do health and safety, you can do research into new processes, design, plan, and purchasing of new equipment. You can also monitor production line processes. I try to network and talk to different engineers from time to time. I recently messaged this process engineer on a Facebook group a while ago, and he said that he was always learning these things. And as you transition in your career, you start to go into more supervisory roles and get to see more aspects of the industry. He says that in, you know, his 10, 20 years of experience, he's still learning new things every day. So the next pro is that the work is pretty cutting edge and it's very, very important to society. So because chemical engineers are involved in so many different industries from water to food production, energy, these are things that we're going to need for as long as humanity is around. Having this effect on so many different types of industries means that chemical engineering as a career is probably not gonna get replaced by robots anytime soon. I think of chemical engineering as the practical side of science and you know, the research can show that all these things are possible, but ultimately chemical engineers are at the forefront of scaling up and making some of these processes actually economically viable. So with that being said, let's jump into another con. Job locations might not always be favorable. Depending on which industry you work in, Let's say you're thinking about going into oil and gas, refineries, the oil sands, these are places that are pretty fixed in their location and they won't always be near big cities. I've had friends who have done internships in towns of, you know, anywhere from like 500 people to like, the smallest town that I've done an internship in was a town of 70,000 people. So even though you can kind of be at peace with it for now while you're young, think about if you're okay with possibly having to live in more rural areas for 5, 10, 20 years. If you really can't see yourself working in these less urban locations, there are other opportunities for you, research and development, consulting work. These are things that are located sometimes in bigger cities. However, if you're completely closing yourself off to all of those jobs in more rural locations, then you might limit your growth in chemical engineering. And I think you'll be missing out on an entire aspect of chemical engineering, which is being in the field, being in a plant, um, and being at the heart of all these large scale processes. With that being said, we'll jump into another pro, which is that the money as a chemical engineer is pretty good. At least in North America, chemical engineers do pretty well off and make about the same as most engineers, if not more. I would say I didn't go into chemical engineering for the money. Like I basically only chose chemical engineering because it sounded cool. Industries like oil and gas and mining are so lucrative. I think those are things that might drive up the annual income for some chemical engineers. Of course, this will all vary based on your experience where the job is located and what industry you're in. Compensation for chemical engineers is always gonna be pretty good. Obviously, if we compare it to something like computer science, chemical engineering won't pay you as much as those things. If you're actually genuinely interested in thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, how to scale up chemical processes, then chemical engineering is definitely right for you. Another thing to consider is that while chemical engineering is a pretty good career choice, the market isn't growing as fast as some of these other industries like software engineering or computer science, which is okay. You may have FOMO if you 
you know, want to get a job really easily, at least for the small sample size that I collected in, most people say that getting a job is not easy, but it's not impossible. So definitely stick in there and hopefully you can get a job in chemi. The growth rate in the chemical engineering industry is pretty standard at about 4%, but it is a little bit close when you look at the demand of jobs and the amount of available jobs. So with the amount of students that graduate every year and the amount of jobs that open up every year, it's cutting it pretty close. And I'd say that there aren't an abundance of jobs for chemical engineers, but I think that there should be enough for you to most likely get a job when you graduate. Of course, we're in a pandemic right now, so that is also a huge factor in whether you get a job or not. I remember I had two interviews that basically got frozen due to the pandemic. Overall, what I can say is that I love my job right now, and I know plenty of other people who are satisfied in their chemical engineering roles. If you can get over some of the cons that I mentioned in this video, like the fact that school is a little bit conceptual, the job market is a little bit cyclical, um, the locations might not always be in the most favorable locations, and that the demand and supply uh, ratio for chemical engineers is pretty, you know, cutting it close, then I think you'll be in good shape for chemical engineering. Chemical engineers do pretty important work and the work that we do is very important to society. So I highly suggest it as a career path. Obviously I'm biased, but I just wanted to lay down all the facts and you know, these, I wouldn't even say that these are facts. These are just my opinions for what chemical engineering is. And I'll let you make your decision on your own. Personally, seeing that there's so many different industries, that the work is so interesting and so impactful to society, I would say that it's a pretty good career choice. There's tons for you to learn, even after you graduate, even 20 years down into your career, there's still so much to learn in chemical engineering. Problems that chemical engineers solve are so important and so complicated. Um, energy, water, food, these are all things that we've got to tackle and solve. Compared to the average job, chemical engineering, has a pretty fair compensation. And even compared to other engineering disciplines, chemical engineering does pay pretty well. Once again, I'm in Canada. I've only been working for like a year and I don't know everything. So go to lots of events, talk to lots of people and make your own opinion about what chemical engineering is. If you enjoyed the video, please consider gently tapping that like button. It does really help me a lot. Hopefully you got something out of this video and I'll see you guys next week.